So the big question is this, how do you navigate dating scams and dishonesty? Today I share with you tips on how to guard your heart and your wallets when dating online. My name is Jenna Wosu and welcome to the Second Chances Podcast, a love journey in black and white. I've heard some really, really scary stories about online dating and some of it has led to not just the heartbreak, but also people parting ways with a lot of money. And I'm talking about online scams. Yep, people are defrauding people online, believe it or not. The truth about this whole online dating scene, it's really transformed the way we find love. Yes, in a positive way. But it's also giving rise to a lot of new risks, which we were not bothered about before. And this is around the area of people financially scamming people and then just the dishonesty that we see a lot online. These deceptive practices can lead, yes, to financial loss, but also the emotional distress. Are you kidding? So today, I really want to share with you some ways to protect yourself while still remaining open because I don't want you to get closed off or to become petrified to the point of no action from some of the horror stories that are out there. I want you to be safe, but still be open to meeting people online because I strongly still believe that online is the best place to meet potential partners. So the first tip is around recognizing the flags. When someone love bombs you, which is professing love a bit too quickly, or they don't want to meet in person, so it's the constant pen pal, just constantly sending messages and trying to take up all your time and just tell you how wonderful you are, how great you are, how they're so glad you're in their lives. And then gradually they start to tell you about the issues that they're having and come up with uh, problems that need financial assistance, this is usually a classic MO for people, for scammers. So know this sign, know this flag, this red flag, and trust your instincts. If someone that you haven't met, or maybe you only met up once, starts getting into you or love bombing you and eventually starts to ask for money, it's a no-no. Trust your instincts. If something feels too good to be true, It probably is. If something smells like a scam, it probably is. Trust your guts. The next is around keeping personal information private. And what I mean by this is you need to be mindful about sharing details about yourself too quickly. Sure, sure you can share your name, but when it comes to your address or maybe your financial situation, There's no need to have that conversation too soon. Make sure you wait till you know the person well enough and you trust them to some extent before you start sharing deep personal information. These scammers can seem very innocent in the way that they ask for this information, but then they use it to their advantage. Remember, these people are very skilled at this and you may have your guard down in some moment of vulnerability and boom, they're in there. So as much as possible, try to keep maintain your privacy for as long as possible until a point where you actually trust them enough to be able to share this kind of information. Another tip is, and I know a lot of the dating platforms have it, they have safety tips. They're not there for fancy. Use them. Use the security features to make sure that you're protecting yourself and keeping yourself safe from these scammers. There's there's also another thing I like about the apps is if you feel like someone is trying to scam you, there are ways to report the person, right? So report suspicious accounts and that way the, the apps can block them so that nobody else has to fall victim to these these scams. So make sure that you know the tools that are available on the on the dating apps and make sure that you go through some of the features there to help protect yourself and keep yourself safe. I know that some of the apps, even when you try to share your phone number, you will say, are you sure you're ready to share your phone number or are you sure you're ready to share your address and things like that? Just to remind you that you need to be careful when sharing some of your personal information too quickly on the dating apps. Whew. The next thing I want to talk about is verification. The truth is, with today's technology, it's it, it's easy. I won't say it's extremely easy, but it's easy enough for you to verify someone's 
identity. So with a first name and a last name, or maybe whether you, they work, it's quite easy to val- val- validate and verify if they are who they say they are, right? And if it's just text messages, be quick to get on a phone call. Phone calls are good, but even better is a video call. Right, because that way you can see them. Some of these scammers are so sophisticated these days. They have all this voice, uh, this voice changing gadgets that can make them sound like whoever. So I wouldn't trust a phone conversation. I would go straight to a video conversation, even if it's just for a few minutes, so that you can see that they are who they say they are. Right. So make sure that you're tapping into some of these tools that are available to ensure that the person that you're speaking to is who they say they are. Another thing, and probably the last thing I'm going to say on this is never send money or gifts. I don't care who it is. Never send money or a gift. In fact, there was a, a period where the scammers will say they wanted to send you money and they would send you a little amount only you know, to soften you up for the bigger blow when they're going to ask you for a larger amount of money. So don't be too quick to receive PayPal transfers or cash gifts. Don't be too quick. Wait for there to be a deeper connection with the person. At least you met them in person a couple of times before you start to accept gifts. And never, 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 never start sharing gifts or sending money to a person that you haven't met. It just goes without saying. I don't care how compelling this story is or how deep a connection you think you already have with somebody that you haven't met. Just don't do it. This is a surefire sign of a scam. Do not do it. Protecting yourself online is very, very crucial. But like I said in the beginning, it doesn't mean close yourself off. It means having some boundaries, but not shutting the door completely. It's about knowing how to identify some of these scams and be able to protect yourself. So just control what information you're sharing, control how much you're putting yourself out there, how much you're, you're, you're willing to send out money or give out information or offer to help. Just be a little bit more cautious with all of that and you will be fine. But stay open, continue to make sure that you're looking for the right kind of partner who shares the same values, who respects you and who you're able to set boundaries with. So dishonesty and scams, I spoke a lot about the scams, but dishonesty even goes as far as catfishing. So they don't look like what they say they are. They use a false photograph. There's just so much going out there. So be careful, make sure that you're very fine. You're validating that they are who they say they are. Right, some people are, are, are married and they come online and say that they're single. Again, there's so many ways that you can find out enough information about a person before you emotionally invest in them. So make sure that you're taking the right steps to uncover any dishonesty or any potential scams that are out there. There's a lot of tools out there that can help you, but stay safe and keep keeping your heart open to make the right connection. If you enjoy this podcast episode, leave a review or subscribe to the podcast or share it with a friend, share it with someone who's also in the dating scene and maybe is not aware of some of the scams and the dishonesty that goes on online. We want everybody to say, to be safe. We want to make sure that you're not just protecting your heart, but you're also protecting your wallet. Thank you for listening to today's episode on the Second Chances podcast, A Love Journey in Black and White. Remember, no matter what, never give up on love. Till next time, sending you love and light.